The team hasn't lost a, a test match um, since 2003, and so they've won 17 in a row over from three to, to 14, and they won their 17th last week. So that legacy continues to, to be needed to be protected, and certainly Japan will come out a lot stronger and a lot more aware of what we can we can give them. And I think they tried to run the ball everywhere and take on our defence. And you know our defence created six tries from turnovers, so around the fringes, and it probably there was opportunity for Japan. What we reviewed out wider, so we need to make sure we space well to cover that white width attack wise, so they're probably going to come in there and they probably kick the ball more. Yeah, well Cody Taylor starts at, uh, gets a start at hooker with Ash Dixon returning home with a fractured forearm. Joe Royal moves into the hooking on the bench, so he's covering the hooker. Um, at lock, Blade Thompson gets an opportunity and show his versatility at lock. Uh, played most of the I team at eight, played for the Māori team last week as six, so probably just showcasing his versatility, um, you know, that he can play lock six and eight. Dan Pryor I thought had a had a great game with his with his skill and his um, and his speed to the loose ball, so he gets a start at six. In the backs we've moved we we're pretty impressed in the backs with um, uh, Matt Proctor at ITM for Wellington at midfield, so we're pretty keen to see him at this level at centre. Kurt Baker gets an opportunity with his experience that he brings, and Nihi Milner Scudder had a fantastic uh, ITM from Manawa 2 at uh, fullbacks. You know, Hayden Driggs played outstanding last week, and we've moved him back on the bench to, as I said, the, uh, Tom and Blade are, are exciting young players, so, um, so they're starting Hayden uh, Triggs has been great in his leadership and, and bringing those boys through. So he's sitting on the bench. And also in the forwards, Mitch Croswell replaces his brother uh, on the bench. And Mitch has had a fantastic guy team with Taranaki. So, um, um, you know, he's he gets an opportunity to wear the jersey. And uh, in the backs, um, Joe Weber's had a great eye team uh, season. He really wanted to wear the Māori jersey. and. Um, you know, he's a key part of the sevens in New Zealand, but, but wanted to be here, so um, he's getting rewarded uh, on, the, on the bench, so he'll certainly get out there and show his wares in the Māori All Black jersey. We're going to be another step better too, having been together in our second week, and you know, I can just see the players uh, and the whole group actually getting uh, tighter. There's going to be more combinations, better combinations, better understanding. Um, if, from a coaching point of view, we're able to give a little bit more detail than we could last week because um, we understand you know, what needs to work on. So, as I said, we need to defend with um, the space in the bodies rather than too, too tight around the ruck.